everybody, it's Joey, um, and I'm here to do a whew, best of 2018. Now, it's raining outside, so if there's rain outside and you hear the rain, I'm very sorry. Let me push you guys back a little bit. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. So if it's raining us, then I'm very, very sorry it is raining, so I can't stop the rain to do the video. So, um, this is New Year's Eve that I'm filming this on, so I'm very sorry about the noise. Um, lots of best of. I'm gonna do body care first. I feel like everyone wants to see the body care. That's Bath & Body Works. I'm gonna do all the Bath & Body Works products first. Then I'm going to do makeup, and then I'm going to do TV shows and movies. Okay, so the best of 2018. So you guys ready? Let's get started. So, um... I guess I'll start with pocket bags. It's, it's, this is going, but okay. So starting right now, this whole entire segment is going to be Bath and Body Works, and then afterwards, it's probably it's going to be makeup and whatever. Okay. But right now, it's going to be all Bath and Body Works. It's pocket bags, candles, soaps, body care, all that. So the first two, pro the first two products I'm going to show you for the best of 2018 that came out this year. Um, also, before I start, um, there's some products that came out a year or so ago with makeup and body care and, and like Bath and Body Works came out like a year or so ago, but I just discovered it this year and I'm in love with it, so, you know, I had to... Well, Bath and Body Works, no. There's no Bath and Body Works products that came out last year that I'm like, became obsessed with this year, but there are makeup products that, that are like that. Alright, so here we go. So the first one is Fala La Latte, Gingerbread Latte. And then the second one's Con and Kenny Bliss. Now these are the two pocket bags of the year for me. The best of 2018 for pocket bags of Bath and Body Works. These two were the ones. This came out spring and summer. This came out winter, Christmas time. So these two were my favorite pocket bags of 2018 from Bath and Body Works. Are these two? By the way, excuse my ratchet ass nails. Excuse me, I gotta get them done. Yeah. So there we go. These are my two pocket bags for the win of 2018. They're the winners, baby. These two are the winners. I love them both. They both smell amazing. Put that there. Okay, um, now I'm going to do hand soap. So the first hand soap I love this year was Cherry Chill. And Cherry Chill is just an amazing cherry smell. This is what I wish Mary Cherry Cheer would have smelled like, but it didn't. Which, listen, it's not a big, big, big deal. Um, I think it's harder to get scents right in body care for some odd reason. That's why the body care always smells different than the actual home fragrance, you know what I mean, if they duplicate it. Like, like hot cocoa and cream, like I feel like the cream and the shower gel smells just like the candle, but the mist, maybe it was a harder formula to create and a harder scent to create into fra fragrance mist. So, you know, but I love it all the same. In fact, do I have that here? Yeah, I do. Okay, I was just checking because there's so much shit here. I was like, I can't say it. Alright, so anyways, Mary Ch uh, Cherry Chill. Cherry Chill. Yeah, love this hand soap. It's really, really good. Love that one. Next one, the next hand soap of the year I loved was Candy Cane Bliss. <sighs> Freaking awesome. Awesome. I just love it. Love, love, love it. Candy cane bliss. It's just that sweet candy cane smell. I think they should just create it into body care. It's so nice. Oh, love it. Love, love that hand soap. Next hand soap is, oh, is Cocktails and Confetti. I'm using this one right now in the bathroom, by the way. This one, um, girl. Sometimes you just don't know, right? <laughs> so this one I'm using in the bathroom. Um... But it's a different one. The one I'm using right now is like this much left. This is my backup. Cocktails and confetti. It has that soda scent with um, the marshmallow. So it smells like a marshmallow soda. Um, you really get that fizzy, fizzy soda smell with the marshmallow. It smells, it smells similar to Christmas presents or Christmas morning's hand soap that came out like two years ago. It smells similar to that, but this is, this is its own version, baby. And I have like three of these, so yeah, this should be good. Next hand soap is lemon buttercream. 
This one I haven't really spoken a lot about, but for some odd reason, this one smells really, really good. I just love this one. Like, I, I don't know. This one just smells so good. It just really does smell like a lemon butter cookie. I mean, seriously, it's so, so good. So this one's going to make it into my best of 2018. You know what I mean? I definitely, for without a shadow of doubt, that one definitely is. The next one, this one was a classic during the summertime. Toasted S'mores. I mean, be definitely made in the best of 2018, honey. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I have two more of these. There's one of the hands up I forgot in the bathroom. I'm not getting it now because, girl, you know I can't add a shit out. You're going to see me running. I'm not. No. <laughs> but it's Pumpkin Apple from the fall time. Pumpkin Apple is a hand soap that came out this fall. It's it's not a new scent. It's it, it's it's been around. Pumpkin Apple's been around for years. But in hand soap form, it was new. So, but I forgot in the bathroom. But Pumpkin Apple is also added into this. Yeah. Toasted S'mores. I love this. I think this one's going to keep coming back. I really, really do. I think that one's going to keep coming back. I don't think they're going to get like get rid of it. I think it's going to keep coming back. Okay, so next I'll do body care. Okay. So the first body care is... Oh, there's so much body care. <laughs> Hot cocoa and cream. Now, the mist... Remember saying I didn't like the mist? I actually do like the mist a lot. The, the thing is, you can't look at the hot cocoa and cream fragrance mist as hot cocoa and cream. You gotta look at it as its own fragrance. And once you do that, you will love it. It's its own, it's its own fragrance. It should have been named different. It should have been named a totally different fragrance. It should have been named Chocolate Tootsie Pop or something, because it smells so good. It just does not smell like hot cocoa. You know, it smells chocolatey, but just not hot cocoa. But the hot cocoa and cream, cream does, and also the shower gel. So this is definitely in it. Fragrance Mist is in it too, but it's its own fragrance, so, you know, we'll leave that as it is. But this one, um, the cream is just so good. Mmm, so good. Yeah. I love it. I think, um, they did strike a winner with this. If this never comes back, I'm going to be very surprised. I think this needs to continue to come back every goddamn every damn Christmas time, holiday traditions. I think for body care, the Christmas time won this year. I think Christmas, then fall. The Christmas body care, I think, was the best of 2018 ever. Then the fall stuff. But the Christmas stuff this year was, I mean, most of this is Christmas stuff. I mean, it's just, this year for Christmas was just, was out of control. It was so good. Next one's another Christmas one, and it is the ginger, spice gingerbread swirl. This is the mist. Mmm. It just smells lovely. Like, I can't put into words how good this smells. This also has to come out every year. Has to. I, I can't see them not bringing this and hot cocoa and cream out for the holiday traditions. It's like, they should just add it to the, to, to the traditions. That's it. I mean, I can't see why they wouldn't do it. Maybe because they want to make up new scents. But I feel like they should just really just keep these two. They don't even need any new scents, honestly. Okay, and the next one is like a winter slash, well, winter, really. It's Sparkling Nights. This one came out of left field for me. It grew on me and grew on me and grew on me. I loved it so I, I really grew to love this one. So, yeah, and I love the packaging. Packaging everything is amazing, so I don't have to keep saying it, but it is. This one's really, really good. It has that iced, sweet coconut with the like the fruity pear and then it, I get like a blueberry note too like a blue raspberry not blueberry but blue raspberry I get it the most in the um shower gel than the mist and the cream I don't get the blue raspberry note really but I do a lot in the shower gel and the mist so this one is so good like I don't know it's just mmm like, I don't know. Can you, like, really fall in love with a smell? Can you really, like, marry a smell? Like, could you, like, really... Till death do us part in this bitch? I mean, could we? Because I would. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. This one came in a left field for me. Okay, so then the next body... Okay, these two, I think, were my... I don't even know. I don't even know. How could... There's so many. That... I don't know. I, I can't determine how... What, what were the... There was just too many good Bath and Body Works smells that came out this year. It's crazy. Next one is this. And this one I'm... 
I may, I may just divorce Sparkly Nice and, and marry this. Pumpkin picking. Yeah. We're, we're gonna... Uh, we're, we are going to elope to Vegas and fucking leave Sparkly Nights behind. That's what we're gonna do. Because this one... I'm really in love with. Like, I'm in love with the other ones, but this one, like, I am head over heels. Like, literally, like, I can't be separated. I just can't. I can't. I just, I love this more than, I don't even know, than my own life. Like, I can't determine why this has never came out before. This needs to come out every single fall. I don't care what they tell me. I will email Bath and Bodyworks every single goddamn day for this to come out every fall. I don't care. This cannot be discontinued. Only have a one, one shot wonder. This has to come out every year. And I think Bath and Bodyworks watches our videos, and I think they see what what's going on here, and I think they know how much we love this. And it'd be stupid of them for not bringing this back next fall. So this one is so good. I just can't. And then the next one I like fell in love with and I really thought that, um, you know, I just was like, no, I can't break my nose, I can't break my nose. I bought the cream, but I was like, no, I need the mist. And I found the mist at the semi-annual sale, so I got it. And it's Bodrock Marshmallow Clouds. This came out in the middle of the summer. This scent and packaging and everything else is an award winner. I don't understand, like, I just keep spraying it. I don't know why, like, every... It smells like a fluffy, sweet marshmallow. I do get... Hmm. So good. I do get, like, a nice fluffy... Fl like It's like a fluffy marshmallow with, like, a, a soft, powdery floral note underneath it. It's so weird. But the most you get is that whipped vanilla, which I think it's like that... I think the whipped vanilla is that kind of candy note I'm smelling. And then the marshmallow meringue is that fluffy, sweet marshmallow cookie I'm smelling. Mm, it's so good. I don't know. I don't know. If I had to do body care, the top three of this year would probably be these three. Pumpkin picking for the fall, spice and bread swirl for the winter, and then butter rough marshmallow clouds for the summer. The spring and the summer. So these three, I think, were my top three of, of the year. I really do. These three, if I had to pick three body care, it would be these three. Most definitely. No, for real. For real, for real. Okay. So now, let's do candles. So the first candle I love this, this year, the 22 is Blueberry Maple Pancakes. Now someone, I could, remember in my video, I couldn't, I couldn't determine what candy it smelled like from the 90s. I finally... Found it out. Someone said it on one of her YouTube videos, her reviews, and I was like, that's the candy. That's what I'm smelling. It's the blueberry Tootsie Pop. It's like the grape blueberry Tootsie Pop. That's what I'm smelling. This is what this smells like. It's identical. It's identical to a blue, a blue Tootsie Pop. Like, for real, for real. Like, it really... I don't even smell the maple syrup or anything else anymore. I just smell that Tootsie Pop. It's so good. And I'm so glad I watched that video because that's what I was smelling and I couldn't put my finger on it because I haven't had Tootsie Pops in so long. So I couldn't put my finger on it, but that's what I was smelling. Okay, the next one, I'll do this one. Orange Chocolate Truffle. This is gonna be a long video, you guys. I got my battery fully charged and everything, so we're good. Orange chocolate truffle. Mm. I don't even know. I can't even... I don't even know. This is so fucking good. Excuse, pardon me, but it's so good. I don't know, it just smells like a chocolate orange, and um, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. It really is. Ugh, I can't even. And this one I was determining, but you know what? I think this is going to be the best of 2018. I really do love the cherry frost candle, too. I really do. Yeah, I really love cherry. It smells like a cherry gummy bear. I really like it. I, I, yeah, this is gonna be my best of 2018. Yeah, I'm glad this came out this year because it's really, really good. Um, really does smell like cherries. Really nice. Next one is a Christmas one, and it is butter rum eggnog. This one smells like a spiked eggnog. Like someone spiked that fucking eggnog on Christmas Eve and wall decking the holes. 
and we'll all marry. Mm. Like, you really do get... It's not just eggnog. You really do get that rum alcohol note in it. It's so hilarious. I don't know how Bath & Body Works gets all these amazing notes together and, and does it, but they do it, so... Mm. Holy shiza. Holy shiza. The next one, I think, is my ultimate. I think the next two... And then the orange chocolate truffle are my three favorites out of Candles of 2018. But these two are like the top two, baby. These two are the top two. No, no. Orange chocolate truffle and then banana spilled milkshake is the top two. And then I do love peppermint brownie. So these two are also in the... Obviously, this is in the best of 2018. Come on now. But this one also is amazing. So these two are also in it. So peppermint brownie, you know, I... It just smells so good. I'm so pissed I didn't get to burn it this year, but I'm I'm actually happy I didn't because I didn't get a backup over this, and I would have been sad if I used this whole thing up and then I wouldn't have had a backup. So I didn't stop burning this year because I wanted to say I have this in my collection until hopefully next year they bring it out again. And then banana spoon milkshake, I ha I've had like four or five of these. Like, I'm not kidding. I have another one over here. Like, I have so many of these. I just love this smell so much. They need to make this into body care and that's it. Period. Make this into body care right now. <laughs> Seriously. For summer of next year, do it, bitch. Do it. Do it. You, you, for real, do it. Okay. So that's it for Bath & Body Works. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my Bath & Body Works segment of the best of 2018. Now let's do perfume. I only have one perfume. And this this came out, I think, a year or so ago, two, three years ago. But I found this this year. And so this is going to be the, my best of 2018 because I fell in love with it this year. And it is the Bon Bon by Rick, Richter and Wolf. Victor, Richter and Wolf. I'm like halfway done with it. I just, like, it smells like a sweet, sophisticated, caramelly, sweet, gourmand perfume. Packaging so cute. Looks like a little candy bonbon. Love it, love it, love it. Love this perfume. Love it. I should have worn it today, but I wasn't... I'm not doing anything today. Like, I'm just... I just wanted to... I knew I had to film video, so whatever. So, so that's what I was doing. But yeah, this is the perfume 2018 for me. But it did come out, I think, 2015. So. Okay, so now let's do makeup. So I got three lip scrubs from Jeffree Star. The first one's Cherry Soda. This came out during Valentine's Day, and this also came out during Valentine's Day. Chocolate, ch chocolate covered strawberry. These two are my favorite lip scrubs of the year, I think. These two were the best. The two Valentine's Day ones. And then I did love the new one that came out this holiday season, Eggnog. This one was also really good. So these are my three favorite lip scrubs that came out this year of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, these three are the winners for this 2018 year. Definitely. I loved all that. If I had to pick my favorite favorite, it would probably be chocolate covered strawberry, then eggnog, and then cherry soda. But yeah, no, for real, they were so good. All of them were so good. All right, now let's do makeup makeup. So, what I have on my lips now, now this came out a couple years ago, but I fell in love with it this year. So it's going to be in the best of 2018 for me for this year, and it's Mannequin. I have it on now with the gloss. I love Mannequin. Um... Smells like root beer. Um, it's that pretty light beige nude that's perfect for every day. Like, I've been gravitating towards this more than even celebrity skin. So, yeah. Mannequin, I think, is my new favorite nude. Gotta keep it real. I think Mannequin is my new favorite nude. So, this one's definitely in it. Um, another one is a highlighter. <laughs> Sarcophagus. This came out in single pan this summer. So Sarcophagus, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know if I should open it. There you go. It's a pale, icy gold, perfect for light skin tones. Um, I got a huge dent in it because I use it like all the time. Got like cute tissues. <laughs> this is like a cute tissues. Yeah, Sarcophagus. That's the highlighter of 2018 for me this year. I use that highlighter all the time. Right now I have one Eclipse, but Sarcophagus I use. 90% of the time. Um, the next makeup item I loved of the year is, um, let's see. I'm gonna say, um, no, that one. I'm gonna say this one. Androgyny by Lip Ammunition from his, from Jeffree Star's Valentine's Day collection. Now this color came out like a year or so ago, but in Lip Ammunition form, it came out this year. And I fell in love with Androgyny. It's like this, 
purple mauve brown color. I love it so much. Um, oh, it smells so good. So yeah, this is definitely a lipstick I loved. Androgyny Lip Ammo from his Valentine's Day this year. Definitely that one. That color is definitely a favorite of the year. And other one, um... I'm going to say this one. I did love this one. This is the summer one. This is his summer lipstick that came out this year. Soft Serve. Um, the only lipstick color I liked out of his collection this year was this one. Just smells like chemicals, but... Oh, it's so moussey and creamy. I love it. The only thing I don't like about this lipstick is that the packaging is coming off. Normally with the, the special packaging with, like, the metallic, like, holographic design, it doesn't come off. But with this lipstick, it is. Like, the silver is coming off the lid, if you can see. It's coming off. It's annoying because, like, the silver sparkles get all over me, and I'm like, oh. Not that I don't like to sparkle, but that shouldn't be happening to the packaging, right? It's weird. Yeah. That's what I like. But the color I love. It's like a... It's like a... Damn. It's like a peachy nude. I do love that color. Um, any more lipsticks of the year? Not really. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's no, I'm trying to look and find. Now there's no other lipsticks. Yeah. That's it with lipsticks, surprisingly. That's it with lipsticks. Girl. Yeah. That's it with lipsticks. I wanted to include more, but... I don't know, like, I try not to get that many lips because I have so many lipsticks, and I do, I mean, there's a couple of lipstick colors that I did love this year that, that I got this year. Like, Watermelon Soda I just got, and I do love this, but I haven't had the time to really enjoy it because it's not, I didn't, you know, I, I just got it, you know, and this did come out a couple of years ago, but this one, like, Watermelons, but it's really nice. I love this color, so next summer, this will probably be in the best of 2019 because this color is really, really nice. I mean... I guess I'll just include it for 2018, whatever. I'm not including the Jeffree Star lip liners only because they're not, they're not including the best of 2018. I'm sorry, he needs to work on those. So I'm not including those. Um, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, now this was out two, three years ago, but I just got it this year. And of course I fell in love with this, the Androgyny Eyeshadow Palette. Remember last year, best of 2017 was Beauty Killer. Best of 2018 is Androgyny. I know I'm a little late in the game because Beauty Killer came out years ago and Androgyny came out years ago. But girl, better late than never. So yeah, this the only color I've had paint on so far is um, Frosting. But there's so many colors that have big, huge dents in them. It's crazy. So yeah. To be honest with you, this eyeshadow palette's my go-to. I I don't have it on now today. It's so funny because like the stuff I'm like like using, I like saying it's my favorite, I don't have it on today. But, um, I have the Beauty Kill Pot on today, but Androgyny I use, again, like, 99% of the time. Like, you know what I mean? It's just this one night I didn't wear Androgyny. But Androgyny is my go-to everyday palette of this year. It was everything. It was seriously everything. Um, let me see. I'm going to include a Kylie gloss, the gloss I'm wearing right now, because I think I just got it this year. Even though this also came out years ago, but this is my favorite of this year. And this is Sugar Plum Lip Gloss from the Coco Collection. I have it on right now, but mannequin. Um, yeah. I love this gloss. I love this gloss. It's a nude gloss. It goes perfect with mannequin. It really, really does. Okay, so I guess that's it with makeup, guys. Like, there's really no other makeup items that best of 2018. Yeah, I mean, I stuck to what I liked from last year, and there's really no other new ones that I really gravitated towards this year. But, yeah, so that's with that. Now, TV shows and movies. We'll do TV shows first. The Real Housewives of New Jersey season... Well, no, season 8 was last year. Season 9... Amazing episode review tonight coming with Danielle's Bohemian Wedding. That's coming tonight later tonight. I'm not gonna upload that tonight. I'm gonna upload it tomorrow, but this I'm uploading tonight. Um, yeah, I mean this season has been amazing, and I can't wait for um the rest of the season. Um, oh girl, I love my curly hair today. So fierce. Um, thirteen reasons why season two, another favorite. Love, 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 love this season. I love the second season. It was really, really good. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of, like... Like, I do like... Okay, Roseanne that came out. Roseanne was amazing, but, you know, the shit happened, and now it's called The Connors. So I guess Roseanne and The Connors... I do like The Connors, too. They're, they're both funny, but Roseanne is Roseanne, you know? Um, but that's that's going to be included in The Best of 2018, because I do like that show a lot. It's just, it's just funny. I just... I get a good laugh out of it. You know, it's good. 
Um... I'm gonna say Days of Our Lives because Days of Our Lives has been really good this year. I mean, normally it's either hit or mess with me. Sometimes I fall out of it, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But this year they were really, really good. I really love the storylines this year. I love they brought people back and everything. I really, 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 really like this um, year of Days of Our Lives. So, yeah. I'm gonna say Days of Our Lives definitely um, for 2018. Hopefully they keep it going. But, um, you know, this year they, they were really good. Um, and other one of 20, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. <clears throat> Let me see, another favorite of 2018. I'm going to say American Horror Story Apocalypse only because I did like most of the season of Apocalypse. It did lose me towards the end, but most of the season I really, really, really liked. So I'm going to say Apocalypse because you know what? I didn't watch the last season at all. Cult, I think it was called. This season was way better, so I'm going to say Apocalypse for sure. Um, what, other, what other TV shows? I really don't watch much TV. It's so weird. Oh, Jersey Shore Family Vacation. I mean, the best. That's the, 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 I mean, whoa, that was so good. I mean, they made a comeback. I mean, that show was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's so funny. It's so dramatic. It's so amazing. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it so much. I love it more than the original Jersey Shore. I just, I love it. Like, I can't stop loving the Jersey Shore Family Vacation. It's just got, it was just so good. I can't, I mean, it really was. It was such a good show. So, that's definitely best of 2018 for sure, for sure, for sure. Um... I think of any other okay the real houses in new york city was also good this year i did like this season i really did luann went to prison they had that crazy dramatic um vacation um a lot of shit happened in new york city this year for real housewives so i'm gonna say new york the real houses in new york city is definitely a favorite of, of 2018 because this this season this year was really, really good um let me see I probably should have had, like, this written down and memorized. I just always do things off the top of my head. It's crazy. But I think out of TV shows, surprisingly, I think that's it. I don't think there was any other TV shows. I'm trying to think of more reality shows and stuff. Like, RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 was, was a favorite of 2018. I love this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. And Season 4 of All Stars has been off the chain, bitch. Season 4 of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars and Season 10 of RuPaul's, <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race were definitely a favorite of 2018. 2018. Loved it. Loved all of season 10. I love, I'm so far I'm loving all of season 4 of All Stars. So yeah, um, definitely a favorite. RuPaul's Drag Race, amazing. Love, love, love that show. Um, The Assassination of Gianni Fasashi. Another favorite of 2018. That came out the very beginning of 2018, I think. Yeah, so it's definitely included in this. It was such a good show. I have to include it. It was so good. The ratings were not good, but the show itself was so good. Down Chris played an amazing part. The whole the whole thing was amazing. I really enjoyed that show a lot. Such a good show. So yeah, The Assassination of Gianni Versace is definitely best of 2018 for me. Um... Okay, so we'll go into movies now. So Bird Box just came out this month. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to say Bird Box. I just watched it, I think, last night. It was really good. I liked it. I can see why people are, like, in love with that movie. It's really, really good. So definitely Bird Box. Um, Sandra Bullock played a good part. It was a good movie. It was a good, good movie. Other movies that came out this year, you know, with me, like, next year, a lot of good movies are coming out. But this year, there weren't many good movies that came out. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think off the top of my head, like, good movies that came out this year. But I just, I can't think of them. I just can't think of them. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it's 8 16, so only a few more hours left till 2019. It's crazy. I mean, It's crazy. I'm going to try to put, like, good movies of 2018 and see what pops up. But, bitch, there wasn't any movies I liked. Okay, so I see The Quiet Place. That was okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna include that, though, because The Quiet Place wasn't even that good. Hereditary I saw wasn't even that good, so I'm not including that either. Yeah, there's no good ones that I'm seeing. Like, oh. 
Yeah, the movies weren't good this year. They just, they weren't good for me this year. I didn't like them. Okay, wait, wait. There was a, okay. Wait, there's a couple. Truth or Dare, the horror film Truth or Dare, that thriller was really, really good. I mean, I liked it. People really didn't like Truth or Dare because it was just a silly movie. But, like, it was a good thriller. I liked it. I thought it was a cute concept. And then Love, Simon was an also great... I thought Love, Simon was good. That's, like, that. that's the game movie or whatever. I thought that was really, really good. So, Love, Simon's definitely there. Thank God I just saw that. Love, Simon. See, that came out in March, so, like, I forget. But, like, that did come out this year. So, that's, that's included in the best of 2018 for sure. Um... Yeah. Okay. But other than that, there was no other good movies for me. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, there's some great things that happened for me this year. I mean, I'm going to do uh, New Year's Eve tag, which that will be included. But just a couple of things off the top of my head. Meeting Jeffree Star was a favorite, like, the best thing.